What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today I want to talk about talismans and trinkets, how they work, how you get them, and what effects they give you. First of all, you have to have killed legendary animals. After you have done that, you can travel to the fence, select the craft option, and look at what trinkets and talismans you can craft. Now remember, no matter how many of these you have crafted, they are all passive, just like the bags. So no matter how many you have, they're all active at all times. Now let's go ahead and get into what these things do. First, we'll talk about trinkets because they're the easier to craft. All you have to have is one part where talismans, you have to have three. So first of all, the beaver tooth trinket slows down weapon degradation. The legendary buck antler gives you higher quality animal parts from skinning. The legendary cougar fang increased stamina XP yield by 10%. Legendary coyote fang increases your dead eye XP yield by 10%. Legendary elk antler increased money yield from looting. Legendary fox claw increases length of eagle eye meter. Legendary moose antler increases health XP yield by 10%. Legendary panther's eye effect is increases the overall dead eye duration. The legendary prong horns horn stops animal carcasses from rotting on the back of your horse. Legendary ram horn increases herb yield of oregano, thyme, and mint. Legendary Tatankan bison horn decreases the incoming melee damage by 10%. Legendary wolf heart increases your alcohol resistance, which that one's kind of funny. I think that one was a trolley one, but that one's pretty hilarious in my opinion. Now there is one trinket that you can craft that is not from an animal that you hunt and that is the line paw trinket which is where you loot it off the line during the He's British of course stranger quest. Now let's get into talismans. Talismans take the legendary animal part plus two other items. So you need a legendary alligator tooth. This will give you the reduced dead eye core drain by 10%. To go with this, you will need Civil War handcuffs and a gold joint bracelet. The Bear Claw Talisman will reduce health core drain by 10%. You will need a quartz chunk and a silver chain bracelet. The Bison Horn Talisman reduces stamina core drain by 10%. You will need the Shell Fragment and a silver earring. The Boar Tusk Talisman reduces your horse core drain by 10%. And the, you need a co Cobalt Petrified Wood and a gold earring. The Raven Claw Talisman. Reduces weapon degradation, degradation by 20%. You need the old brass compass to craft this. Now, where do you find some of these items? The Civil War handcuffs is the smoking and other hobbies card collection quest. Uh, you find the quartz chunk from the Test of Faith stranger quest. The shell fragment can be found in the ruined old house north of the center of roads. The cobalt petrified wood is in a chest hidden northwest of Lake Isabel and the old brass compass is given to you after you do the geology for beginners stranger quest. Now the talismans do more for your character yes they give you more of the core stats for your character or your horse but always be making sure if you have killed a legendary animal you will have that part with you that you need to make the trinket. The trinkets are very very good as well and you can craft those very easily. You only have to have that one part. Like I said, the talismans are a bit more difficult. All you have to do, guys, kill those legendary animals and come to the fence. Like I said at the start, they're all passive, so they're all always active. You do not have to worry about equipping a certain one. I hope this helps you out, guys. And, of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.